New at 6, we are learning this evening the parents in Concord had to go to the county health department to shut down a school with no running water. KPIX 5's Emily Turner says they're furious at the district for leaving it open. Emily? Yeah, Ken, these parents we talked to say it should be pretty obvious if there's no running water, no flushing toilets, there should be no classes. And yet they say while they were put on notice, the district never made the ultimate or the right, they say, call. Students at Oak Grove Middle School got the day off earlier this week, but not for fun. They got it off for health violations. There was no running water, but the district kept class in session anyway. Honestly, it's BS, you know, excuse my language or whatever, but I don't, I don't like the way they did it, the yeah. way they handled this. Parents like Carlos say it's unacceptable that students had to endure these conditions. We've blurred it for obvious reasons, but you don't need much imagination to know how bad it got in the bathrooms without the ability to flush and a student body of 800. We found out that the staff reported that they were going off site to use restrooms, but the kids were kind of left to their own devices using the facilities on site without any water. Porta potties were supposed to be delivered after a water main broke the day before, parents say, but they never arrived. So a parent sent the health department these photos. An inspector showed up and pulled the cafeteria's health permit. Students were sent home that afternoon. The water was later restored and school resumed yesterday, but not before ruffling the feathers of many parents who feel like the district made the wrong call. That just shows us a total lack of care on, on their part, and I want them to be uh, held accountable. Now, we did reach out to, uh, to the principal here. She said that the school district, the Mount Diablo Unified School District, was the one handling press statements. However, I can tell you, I called them multiple times, left multiple messages. I have yet to hear back from them. Many parents say they also want to hear from them at their next school board meeting. In the meantime, the school district will be slapped with a bill from the health department. They have to pay the $199 an hour that the health department spent working on this case. Reporting live in Concord, Emily Turner, KPIX 5.